Hey there, in this video, we're going to take a look at one of the most functional plugins in Cubase, and that is the Mono to Stereo plugin. It does pretty much exactly what it says. It takes a mono signal and turns it into a stereo signal. So at the moment, I've got a number of different guitar samples, and they're all on a mono track, and you can see there's only one WAV file in the event, which means one track, a mono track. I'm going to drag this mono file down onto a stereo track and now apply the plugin. And that difference is quite spectacular. So you can hear that straight away there's a lot more depth. We can go back to mono by pressing this button. I can use the color parameter to change the tone of the sound and I can also add delay using this parameter. So you can see it just gives us this extra width and completely changes the characteristic of what was previously a mono audio signal. The advantage with things like guitars is we can actually give them greater width in a mix, meaning there's more room in the center for important things like vocals and kick drums and whatever else we choose to have sitting more towards the center of our mix. Now, this effect is not specifically just for guitars. For example, right here, I've got a lead vocal track, which is a mono so track. And look, it's probably something, moment. like I mentioned earlier, that you'd normally have right oh, in the center yeah. of your oh, mix. Yeah. But if you're layering vocals in contemporary or pop music, then you probably do want to have stereo tracks with the vocals on it. So what I'm doing here is creating a new stereo track. Now I'm going up and I'm going to add the mono to stereo plugin. Now, a little rule. This has to be added over a stereo track, not a mono track, which is why I've created a new stereo track. Now, let's have a listen. This is how it sounded before. Stop what you're doing. And add moment. some width. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's really oh, yeah. opened that vocal up. So I can also moment. add delay and... This is a really neat thing. If you really just need to brighten your track up, then you can move that color dial all the way around to the right and you'll get a quite a bright sound, which might really help this actual vocal pop through in the mix a little bit and save you a little bit of EQ time. Now, mono acoustic guitar tracks are screaming out for this plugin. If you've recorded an acoustic guitar with one mic, try dragging it onto a stereo track, applying the plugin and giving yourself some width. And straight away, you've got that really nice high percussive sort of tone of the acoustic guitar moved into a stereo image in between the left and the right hand side of your speakers or your headphones. Like I said earlier, this is one highly functional plugin and it's something once you know about, you'll probably use all the time. Thanks for stopping in and checking out this video. Please subscribe to the QBS YouTube channel for plenty more videos just like this. Like the video if you've learned something and of course, leave us comments below and tell us how you're using QBase plugins. I'll see you again.